All right, so you want to learn how to ride a disco show. I am about to fucking show you. There is only one thing you need to know as a disco show rider. This. You see this? You see this movement? This little crescent? This is the this is this is the bread and butter of riding a disco show. This is all you need to know and this is all that well, th th this will guide you. This right here will guide you. Look, I don't even need to look at chat and I've got this fucking down, right? Like, look, I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. Oh, well, that killed me. And regardless, the point stands. Once you know how to do this, this little movement, this half crescent, what you do is at the very peak of your jump, you just tap left and right. And this is gonna get you a bounce on the left side of the shell, which is gonna set up for perfect mounting. This is known as a rainbow shell mount. When you can get a bounce without holding jump, that is known as a disco mount. You want to mount the shell. This is a very common obstacle you'll see in Kaizo. I find it so that this way, you want to just go in the left crescent because when you try and do it on the left, on, on the right side, it just doesn't feel as good. Does that make sense? But the whole the whole trick is just getting this little crescent. This bread and butter will teach you so much and allow you to re remount. So people will always say, "Man, how do you recover from shit when 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 the disco goes astray? How do you how do you recover?" So you got to look at this shell in two halves, right? There's the left side and the right side. And there's no you don't really get a bounce off the top because the way the hitbox is kind of formed is like this, right? The hitbox is kind of like this. Um, you get a bounce either on the left or on the right. And when you're when you're going, when you're mounting a shell, you just want to hold the sprint button and the D-pad at the same time. So when you get a proper mount, and you'll know, because all you need to do is get a right bounce. Now what might happen is you get a bounce too far to the edge, and it looks like you might slide off, right? It's very common that that happens. If you get a jump, you see right there? You see how that happened? When that happens, what you need to do is just tap right on your D-pad. When you tap right, it's gonna take away the momentum and allow you to keep that sweet spot when you're riding a, di uh, a disco. You can also release Y for a moment. I don't recommend doing that. I don't think you should ever get in the habit of releasing sprint. I prefer letting go of the D-pad because you can always just easily re-grab the D-pad. In my, in my opinion, I think it's much easier if you let go of the D-pad. When you mount a shell, you want the shell to be traveling in the same direction of you. And you also just want to land on the side that you want to mount. Because if you don't, so so say hypothetically you try and mount a shell, but you land on the opposite side of its direction. What ends up happening is that. If you land on the wrong side of the disco shell, it's gonna throw you off. If you are worried about the disco shell bucking you off, essentially, go back to this movement. If you learn this movement right here, this, this little crescent moon, you will become a pro at disco in no time. This is the sweet spot. You can do this forever and it's really not difficult. You just look at my input display. Holding sprint and jump and just tapping left and right to kind of get that bounce. And then you can just mount. You tried following this and you beat Kaizo 3 easy. Look it, we have an expert in chat right there. Beast was able to beat Kaizo 3 easy with this one trick that speedrunners will hate you to know.